Ano po yung nag-drive sa inyo to apply? Eh, prestige connections, di ba? Did you do your research? I don't get paid. Ayaw po. Ano mo pa pala ako dyan? Alam ko walang sweldo yan. Yung mga Fonso. Marami kami ginagawa dito. Nagagalit sila. Bakit ang tagal ng processing? So, plato naman talaga ako. Did you experience bashing? Diba? Meron naman. I don't really care. everyone, my name is Arvin and welcome to exclusive edition of this vlog Knowing our Honorary Consul, Virma Simons Hello po ma'am Hello <laughs> Ano bang gusto niyong itawag sa inyo? Ah, kahit ano lang Hindi siya itatawag na ako consul You started po ay 2020, April yes. But before that, well I know that you graduated from UP in 1990 Oh, <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, nag-practice kayo for about 8 years? Yes, in the Philippines. Nag-aral ako ng masters in the U.S. for a year, Master of Laws. Then after that, I went to Australia kasi nga namin ko yung husband ko. And I arrived kailang po aral for a conversion course. And then nag-practice ako for a long time. And then finally last year, no, two years ago, I applied for the role of consul. And then I got the role. Ano po yung nag-drive sa inyo? to apply because meron na kayo company, right? I was thinking kasi na I wasn't immersed in the Filipino community. So, sabi ko, kailangan ko na yatang homesick na rin ako kahit papano, no? Yung manis ko na rin yung talking to Filipinos. Tapos sabi ko, and also, it's time to give back to the community. Yung talaga ang, ang driving force, mag-give back to the community. Kasi everyone knows that the role of an honorary consul is actually a volunteer role, so I don't get paid for, for doing my job. Did you do your research kung ano talaga yung work? Well, kasi may isang client na naging friend ko na rin siya yung mag-convince sa akin to apply for the role. At first, na gusto kayo, ayoko, di ba? Kasi, research ko, sabi ko, ano ba talaga yan eh? Ano mo pa pala ako dyan? Alam ko walang sweldo yan, ba? walang bayad. What's in it for me, di ba? Sabi nila, Eh, prestige tapos. Mainly connections, di ba? Sabi ko, hindi ko makailangan mga yan. Sabi ko, kailangan prestige, hindi ko kailangan connections. But, going into the role, I can now say to you, if you want to apply for the role, it is a good role. Because when you help people, you actually feel good about yourself. You feel good about the world. You feel good that you're able to help other people. So, that is something that no one told me about. That when you help other people, it makes you happy. It somehow generates happy hormones within you, in your system. So, it's it's a good feeling. Yeah, I 100% agree. So, when you see other people happy, doble po yung mm -mm. happiness na nararamdaman mm -mm. ninyo. So, speaking of hard work, what is the typical day of Consul Dirma? Well, hindi naman full-time tong role na to, no? So, in a way, basta marunong ka lang maghanap ng staff na magaling, o ba? So, in the morning, sila na yung gumagawa. But in the beginning, I had to actually know how to do the job, yeah. And then after that, I got people who I could depend on, who I was able to train, and then sila na yung gumagawa ng mga nitty-gritty. So that is my commitment the whole afternoon I'm here, Monday to Friday. On the weekends, yun yung mga usually mga community, community work na sa mga organizations. Do you still practice your profession? Yes, I do. I am more into family law and commercial law, bills and estates. Everything except for criminal law and, and labor. Speaking of last will, I really want to include this in this video kasi marami sa atin ayaw pag-usapan yung will. But living in Australia, it's different. Ano pong mapapayon ninyo sa ating mga kababayan na sinasantabi yung, ah, huwag na yan, hindi kailangan yung will? Kasi yung death is a reality, di ba? Yeah. Minsan, ako nga, tagal-tagal kami -tagal, gumawa ng will kasi para bang if you make a will, you feel like you're going to die, diba? We have to be realistic because if you don't have a will, it's going to be harder for the people that will leave behind. If you have a will, you have more control over what you want to do with your assets. If you don't have a will, then you let someone else control it, maybe the law. Well, thank you very much for that insight. So going to the scope of work, uh, being Philippine Honorary Consul to Western Australia, my limitations Marami, are... marami kami ginagawa dito. Yung mga consularization of documents kami gumagawa. SPA, Special Power Attorney, kasi yung mga taong hindi nakakawit sa Pilipinas. And then, NBI, we don't do the issuance of the clearance itself, but we prepare the documents for fingerprinting and verification of identity. Tapos yung mga authentication of documents, kami na nag-authenticate. Yung mga visa, 
yung mga puti na gusto nila ng more than 30 days. Dati kasi mas, mas strict pa eh, pero ngayon nag-liberalize na. Extension of passports. Because of COVID and because of the uh, border restrictions, people were not allowed to go to Canberra or to Sydney or to Melbourne to renew their passports. So a lot of them were able to extend their passports by one year through us. So we did the passport extension by delegated authority from the embassy or from the DFA. We also do travel documents for people who want to go to the Philippines. It's uh, valid for 30 days and it's a one-way document that will allow you to fly to the Philippines and then you then get your passport in the Philippines and then travel back. Yung iba, kunyari, nag-register sila ng dual citizenship or registration of marriage or kung anong registers. Ginagawa yan through Canberra. But yung mga documentation, usually yung kunyari mag-notarize or consularize ng document, dito din natin sa amin kasi mura lang kami 45 lang. Speaking of dual citizenship, would you encourage? Yung pag dual citizen ka, pag umuwi ka ng Pilipinas, di ba unlimited yung stay mo? Bali ka mag-stay ng ng gamgutar ka at saka makaka-own ka ng, ano, ng, ng land. I think pag hindi ka citizen, you can own a unit or condominium but you cannot own land. Yeah. Yan. Tapos yung tax, wala namang problema sa tax kasi yung tax mo sa Philippines, income lang generated from the Philippines. Mm -hmm. lang. Is it easy to process? Mapatutulungan so, ba niya? So, ang dual, apply ka through Canberra. Kailangan mag-oath so usually yung oath ginagawa yan pag may mobile mission dito, nag-oath na. Or kung gusto mo mag-oath na mamadali ka, pwede kang oath sa Canberra or i-request mo na i-transfer yung ceremony mo sa Sydney or Melbourne. Speaking of passport, ang dami kong naririnig, uh, bakit kasi wala dito sa Perth? Mm -hmm. Is there any reason why hindi wala hindi talaga? Hindi kasi tayo, ano, eh, hindi tayo regular na consulate, ano lang kami, honorary consulate lang. And also, I think it's because of the the equipment na ginagamit na naka-allocate lang sa mga consulates general at sa Canberra. What are the common issues and problems na dinudulog po sa inyong tanggapan? Like usually, usually yung, nagagalit sila kasi siyempre <laughs> nagagalit sila pag kunyari walang sumasagot sa phone, mm -hmm. di ba? Eh, volunteers lang kasi yung sumasagot. Minsan dalawang volunteers lang busy naman na siya. Ado. And there's only one line so when when someone rings and asks and we have to explain. Hindi lang siya kasi booking line eh, pati explanation pa eh. Ang tagal-tagal ko minsan mag-explain. Pero ang ginagawa namin is we call back. Yeah. We always call back. So, natutuwa naman sila kasi kahit pa paano, tumatawag kami. Tapos ang ano nila, syempre yung delay na bakit ang tagal ng processing? Kasi kami, 7 to 10 business days. May ganun talaga kasi sa sobrang dami na nag-a-apply. In, in fairness po, hindi ko in-expect na I will be given a chance to have an interview with Consul. Pero ang bilis po niya mag-reply. And then, it looks like you're a very early person. <laughs> Kasi kanina mga 6.20 nag-message niya sa akin. wow, ang aga naman magising ni, ni Consul. In terms of problem talaga ng karamihan na kababayan natin. Passport din, syempre dahil nga sa COVID. So, ang tagal natin walang mobile passport mission. No, mami, may pa dual passport mission ng twice a year. Two years na walang passport mission. So, yung applicants, ang dami na natin dito sa 38,000 na tayo. Ang, ang in-expect nila na demand is about 1,000 a year. Basta so, umabot yung estimate nila sa 4,000 na nung kasalukuyang nag-mobile mission. Ang lahat ng registration process is done through Canberra. So, wala kami kinalaman. Nadamay lang kami sa reklamo nila na, ano, na bakit ang tagal ko kayo. In fact, hindi mo rin naman masisisi si Canberra because the first time that they did the passport mission was was with us straight away. As soon as the borders were lifted, they went to us and then they, they extended it to eight days instead of the usual three days. At least alam nyo na po kung ano po yung reasons. Hindi lang naman po ang office ng ating consul dito sa Perth. Lahat po talaga may delay even with the stops, even with you know our well, importing. Uh, talaga pong ang dami pong delay dahil po sa pandemic. Going back, po yung stressful talaga. And how do you manage your stress? Actually, parang okay na kami. Siguro dahil sa tagal-tagal na namamanage na namin. Noong no first day ko, ako lang mag-isa. Gumawa ako ng NBI clearance. Yung unang-una ko kliyente si Marian. Pag fingerprint pala, hindi ko ma-master. Siguro nakalimang forms ako na sinaya. And then, mabot ng 3 hours. It's hard before it gets easy. Yeah. Diba? If you will be given a chance for an extension, halimbawa, kasi 
you mentioned na three years lang pala. Pa parang first term, ano, three years. Would you extend? I've thought about it, but I have decided not to do it because, you know, three years is long enough. Of course, I have to somehow give priority to my family because I have not spent weekends with my family anymore because of my work. It's time to refocus on the family again. And also because there's other people there, other people who deserve the role as well. A lot of people are willing to do it. They are, are they're good. They're equally as good, if not better than me. Talaga pong kahanga-hanga yung sinabi po ninyo kasi alam naman natin, well, this role, sometimes it could be parang politics din siya. But at the same time, when you look at it, it's really public service to help other people. Tapos, kaya niyo siyang i-give up. Uh, after three years. So ngayon naisip ko tuloy parang stressful ito. <laughs> <laughs> Hindi, okay siya. Actually, masaya siya. Masaya, masaya siya. talaga yung role. Mm -hmm. Kaso mo, syempre, bigyan mo rin ng chance yung iba, di ba, na gusto mag-serve din. So one more year, ano po yung dream ninyo in, in that span? Bago marami pa, marami pa nakaline up ng mga, ng mga projects. So meron kami mga seminars. At the moment, I'm, I'm liaising with someone in relation to seminar for depression i think it is a good topic to deal with so people will become aware of the triggers and how to to address the issues and then we are going to go with a ambassador to the philippines to the trade mission which is being initiated by the ambassador so that's going to be in august and then there's going to be another mobile passport mission i think in october which is not 100 guaranteed yet we are still doing our consular mission to possibly back to Broome. We're looking into doing one in Carrollton and possibly one in Albany again or in Arata. There's a lot happening. Such a working console, I would say. In terms of unity, we said 38, around 38,000 mm -hmm. Filipinos here. It was my dream probably five years ago. Sana merong event where all Filipinos or most Filipinos will go together at saka yung venue niya dyan sa may showground <laughs> sa Claremont. Actually, we did one celebration of the 75th Philippine-Australia Friendship right. Day. We did it at the Langley Park. We had a barrio fiesta and it was participated by almost all organizations, which was really fun. At the moment, we have different organizations, Over 30 yeah. uh, registered organizations across WA. So, sana no, talagang mag-gather together and then... That time, we were actually cooperating with each other but they help to make everything happen do you think it's gonna happen again before you i'm not your... sure because it was such a big project three months in the making but it was done through the efforts of the ambassador medyo serious yung kanina this time getting to know consul virma as as a mom pag wala siya sa work pag hindi siya attorney pag hindi siya consul paano si si virma as a mom Wala na kasi mo anong malalaki na. So I've got a 21 year old who's now in Kalguli doing metallurgy in the School of Lights. And then the other one is doing dentistry and she's 18 years old. So they're both grown up enough, both adults. So that's why I decided to apply for the role. Favorite place for family getaways? Philippines, of course, yeah. Favorite food, Filipino dish? Nilaga. Nilaga ng baka. Do you cook at home? Yeah, I have, I have no choice. <laughs> there are no maids. What is the misconception ng mga tao sa inyo, if there is any? Alam nyo, suplada ako, pero suplada, suplada naman talaga ako. <laughs> <laughs> pero hindi po totoo yun, kasi... <laughs> hindi, suplada lang ako sa umpisa, and then after a while, okay na ako. Yeah. Yeah. It's intimidating. Yeah. Is it because of the nature of your work? Yeah, yeah. Any projects po or plans this coming Philippine Independence Day? Ay, naku, sobrang dami. Not my project, ha, kasi... FACP has got one on the 11th, and then Enfancy, which is the Mandra, Filipino, Australian, multicultural. They've got one on the 10th. I'm doing a flag raising ceremony, which is just symbolic, on the 12th at the farm. I've just invited a few people because it's just my private farm. And then I've got another one, I think 25th in Banbury. Apat, di ba? What is your message to the 38,000 Filipinos in WA? Let's just be a united um, force because if we are united and we act as one, we can actually do a lot of things together. Instead of be fragmented and just think of ourselves all the time, we have to somehow reach out to other Filipinos and just basically be nice because 
we don't know what other people are going through. So do you think yung uh, crab mentality, do you still see it? Well, that's interesting because the reason why I did not immerse myself in the Filipino community was because of my initial perception of crab mentality that people always want to bring you down, they don't want you to go up, right? But in the last two years that I've been in the Filipino community, it's just changed my perception. Because the people that I'm dealing with are mostly students, four, five, seven workers. And these are the people who want to do well in life, who are here because they want to make something of themselves. So it's, it's good to be able to help them. It's good to be able to just do something for them. I've seen your Facebook page, yung Facebook page ng Consulate. Yeah. Nakita ko na you've been very supportive with the small businesses. So, do you have any message to those who are planning to to go into business, especially Filipinos? Ano yung mapapayo mo sa kanila? A lot of us are entrepreneurial. Yeah. And it is good because if you're entrepreneurial, you actually have the capacity to earn more than than you would normally earn if you were just an employee and also it will allow you to do something that you actually love doing in fact i did um, a seminar which a zoom uh, webinar which was hosted by someone from the small business development corporation about starting a small business in wa if you need more information go to the small business development corporation website and they've got it all there There's, there are people who do mentoring for startups and you can ask me as well if you want yeah. Nakita ko very supportive ka and you even promote businesses. At yun yung gusto kong makita going forward din na uh, as a Filipino, mm -hmm. supportahan natin yung mga businesses na nag-start. Nag Kasi hindi po biro talaga ang uh, magtayo ng isang business specialty. Wala tayo sa Pilipinas. Yung support talaga ng bawat isa, I think it's, it's really needed. Did you experience bashing in social media or bashing na they're talking behind your back. Meron naman kasi ang, ang problema kasi sa akin is uh, I don't really care about what other people think of me. So as long as I know who I am and what I am doing. So that is a plus and a minus. It's a plus because I am not weighed down by what people think about me. And the minus is that I get to be, you know, I'm not very, very realistic about the world. So. In a way, I'm trying to achieve that balance. What I normally do is if someone bashes me, I go to the source and I say, did you say this about me? And what's your issue about me? And let me know how, how we can resolve this. So if it's really important, that's what I do. But if it's just, if it's just someone's opinion, I say to myself, well, everyone's entitled to their opinion. So I should not really be affected because if someone thinks negatively about me, that's the person's opinion. So I just do the best that I can do in the circumstances. And if that person is not happy or if anyone's not happy with what I do, it's just too bad. And I just wish that I could change your mind and turn it around. But sometimes it's hard when you have already made up your mind. Unless you know me personally, it's hard to, to change your mind. Last question, Bob. What legacy yung gusto mong maiwan sa consulate office bago po matapos yung termino po ninyo. Si ano si ambassador sinabi sa akin na strike ko daw na taguyod yung Philippine Airlines flight from Perth to Manila. Kasi yeah, nasa pipeline na siya eh. But I'm not sure if I can deliver that there's been a change in government as well. Depende kung ano sasabihin nila. Tsaka may change in ownership na sa PAL. Dati kasi yun ang plano sana yung March pa iglo March 2020. Sana magawa yun during my, my term, so that's my, my legacy, di ba? Any final message po? Kailangan na magkaisa tayo, di ba? Kasi yun ang feeling ko na pwede namang mag-unite tayo, di ba? Let us be united and let's stop all the, all the hating. Don't hate on other people. And stop gossiping, okay? <laughs> Yung mga tao na who have good ideas, don't talk about other people. They talk about ideas, they talk about, about things to do not about other people. So let's try to stop the culture of talking about other people all the time, right? And um, it's basically, let's just be happy for others who are doing well. Wow, very well said, Paul. Itong interview na ito ay talagang ang dami ko pong natutunan sa inyo. Mas nakilala ko pa kayo lalo. And to be honest, this is our first time na magkausap. Pero parang walang wall. 
talaga sinagot po ni Consul Virma yung mga tanong and napakaganda po nang natutunan natin. Hopefully, itong video na ito ay magsilbing inspiration sa sa iba, especially sa ating mga Pilipino to support each other. Maraming maraming salamat Consul Virma for this very rare opportunity for giving me a chance to know you more and hopefully our viewers get something from this very short interview. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Arvin. I'm with Consul Virma. Thank you.